Hey there, Dave from SolarReviews.com. In this video, we are going to address the cost of solar panels and the related question of whether solar panels are worth it. How much do solar panels cost? For most people, what they really want to know is the total cost of installing solar panels on their home. This is usually a very different figure as far as providing just the cost of the solar panels because it also includes the cost of an appropriate solar inverter, a framing system to attach the solar panels to your roof, installation by a qualified professional, as this is often a necessary prerequisite to claim solar incentives or solar tax credits and all the permitting and paperwork required by both your utility and your city or county government. The costs of a single solar panel have fallen significantly in the last five years, from around $4 per watt to now being routinely available in pallet quantities for around $1 per watt. In other countries, the cost of solar panels on their own is as low as 50 cents per watt, but the imposition of an anti-dumping tariff on Chinese solar panels by the U.S. government in 2014 has increased the cost of solar panels in America. What is surprising to most people is that the cost of the solar panels themselves is only a fraction of the overall costs involved in installing a solar system. If you are looking for just the cost of solar panels on their own, then there are a number of websites that will sell small volumes of individual solar panels to individuals and arrange shipping across the country. Solar Panels Cost Information Solar panel cost information that is expressed as an average solar system cost for either a location, for a specific size of solar system, or for a solar system using a specific brand of solar panels is of some use to you as a potential buyer of a solar system, but by no means does it give you the full story. What you need to know is what the cost is to go solar and what the return and payback period will be specifically based on the characteristics of your home. Things such as location, roof type and structure, and of course, your power usage. This is why most Americans use SolarEstimate.org to collect their quotes for solar because this site allows you to enter your location, utility provider, roof type, and average monthly electricity bill and from this information, it is able to calculate the number of solar panels you need, give an online estimate, and then also show you the best deals available in your area for systems around the size you need. Are solar panels worth it? In general terms, if you live in one of the 30 or so states that have a net metering law and if you pay federal income tax, and so you get the cash benefit of the 30% solar tax credit, then solar can be a great investment. As of May of 2018, Recent falls in retail sales prices for installed solar systems have meant the average payback on a residential solar system installed in America has fallen to below seven years. So after seven years, you have paid the same whether you did or did not buy a solar system, but if you did, then you have at least 18 years of free power to look forward to. In some states, and for some lucky homeowners in states like California, Massachusetts, Connecticut, New York, and New Jersey, the return can now be as quick as five years meaning you are then free to enjoy 20 years of free power from your system after it is paid for itself. In fact, even in other states like Florida, Utah, Texas, and South Carolina, whilst the payback period at 8 to 10 years is a little longer, it still represents a return of 10 to 12 percent, which is higher than the long-term returns for either the property market or the share market. But the thing to remember is that this return is only this good because of the 30% tax credit and the net metering law, and either of these incentives could go at any time. This is why it is important that you evaluate the suitability of your house to solar panels sooner rather than later.